And what we have here is the new Yesu FTM 3200DR. It is a 2 meter, analog and digital. It's a fairly basic radio, uh, easy to operate, might be a good choice uh, if you just got your license and you want to work the local repeaters or and get into uh, digital at the same time. Now we have here your basic dials, your volume control, your dial which is going to be used for quite a few different things, and our power button is right here, and when you very first turn on your radio out of the box, going to ask you to input your call sign and that is going to be transmitted when you are transmitting in digital. Uh, it's going to show up on the other person's radio what your call sign is. You can put in anything you want but I'd recommend going with the call sign. To turn it on we want to hold down the power switch for one second and we are on. Our other buttons here squelch and power. One quick click to get into squelch and then you can operate your squelch is 1 to 15 bring her back to 1 one quick click to bring it back out into normal operation hold down the squelch TX PO button to set your power high that is 65 watts that's your maximum output low is 5 watts and medium is 30 and we're going back to the high Hold down to exit. The RV DW button has got several functions, uh, nothing for the very basic ones. The DA GM, that's going to turn on and off your digital sensing. Uh, right now, it would be fully uh, analog operation. One click. You see the flashing DN, that means it is automatically going to sense whether the incoming signal is digital or analog and that would be the preferred method to keep it um, and one more touch you got the solid DM it is strictly in digital mode right now we want to go with the auto sensing you can see the F up there indicates the radio is currently ready to transmit in analog, one click of the mic, and it'll change to a D, and the radio will now transmit in digital. One click, and back to analog. Our MHZ setup switch is going to get us into our menus to make changes, and our VMMW switch is going to be for our memory operation. One click, and we're into memory. I've got uh, 10 channels pre-programmed in and to start a scan you hit the buttons on top of the microphone and hold it down and it'll start scanning. To stop just hit one of the up or down buttons and it'll stop scanning. One quick press of the power button is going to put it in lock mode. It's going to indicate the lock screen up on there and when you're in that these buttons aren't going to do anything. When I first turned it on and it asked to input my call sign I wasn't able to operate the dial it wouldn't give me the characters I found out somehow it was in lock but it did not show that on the screen so if you have that problem one quick press of the power button is going to take you out of the lock mode and you'll be able to input your call sign. Now we want to uh, go ahead and enter in a frequency, a repeater frequency, and show you how that works. First we want to get out of the memory mode. We want to hit her once. It goes to our home screen, our home frequency, and you can plug in anything you want but uh, your most used frequency. And that's going to be accessible by one press of the button on the microphone also. One more press gets us out of the memory mode and we're ready to input a frequency. You want to make sure you're either in auto sensing mode or completely uh, analog mode. If you are in digital mode, you're not going to be able to select the tone type, the tone or the tone squelch. Uh, I had that problem once when I was trying to enter in a thing and it just disappeared and couldn't get to it. So make sure you're either in auto sensing or analog setup. So now we want to enter in a frequency. 
we're going to go 146.61 and we do that with the microphone and then you can put in either the zeros yourself or hit the pound sign it'll automatically put in the zeros that you need now we want to set that up for our repeater so we want to get into the setup mode so hold down the MHC setup button for one second gets us into setup mode and we want to go to number 38 even though this is already set for us our repeater shift uh, one quick click of the MHZ setup button and you can see it's already in minus which is what we want you got your plus your simplex and we want our minus one quick press of the setup now we want to go to program number 42 if we didn't already have it our squelch type one quick press tone tone squelch DCS off and we want our tone one quick press to empty out of that and now we want to put in our tone frequency which is number 45 one quick press and we want 107.2 which we're already on that but if we weren't just dial the button to get what you need 107.2 and exit our setup and hold down to exit setup completely and we now have that frequency in the radio now to put that station into memory I'm going to come over here and hit the VMMW once actually we want to hold that down our next available memory channel is going to automatically come up which is 11 and we didn't do it fast enough so now we have to hold down the VM MW button one more time and then quickly press that it is now into memory 11 let's go into memory mode one click there it is in 11 now we want to name that uh, station so it's a little bit easier to find so we want to get in be in our memory mode we're on our 11 which was one one we just put in hold down the setup button go to program mode number 25 hit once and you can see our courser is over there and that is the Manitowoc uh, repeater so I'm going to put Manti in there one click to move the cursor and I hit the wrong button so we're gonna go back into that and that's it and hold down the setup button to exit we now have Manti in there a couple of quick things about this we're, we're scanning right now so we're going to stop the scan by hitting the up or down button on the top of the microphone and you can go through your pre-programmed memory channels on there up to 200 you can get And notice again the F is ready to transmit in analog and one click of the mic will change that to digital and back. The LEDs on the left hand side of the screen are going to light up differently depending on uh, what's happening. If you're receiving an analog signal
both the upper and lower is going to be green. If you're transmitting an analog signal, both are going to be red. If you're receiving a digital signal, the upper portion is going to be green and the lower portion is going to be blue. If you're transmitting digital, the upper portion is going to be red and the lower portion is going to be blue. And I can show you those right here. We are in analog. We can tell that by the F. KC9 UBX testing. And you can see there where when I was transmitting both those buttons were red and when the repeater came back and was transmitting both those uh, buttons were green. I'm going to go up to the Appleton one which has got digital. I want to switch to digital. One quick of the push to talk. Get into digital and now we're going to transmit in digital. KC9 UBX testing. And as you can see there we have the lower section blue and the upper section red. And that's going to give you some indication of you know, whether you're working on digital or in audio. And we'll show you on our uh, ham net tonight how that all works because uh, we've got both uh, analog and digital nets so we'll be able to show you that. Okay, a couple other things I want to show you on the microphone. we got four P keys which are quick access to a couple different things you want to do. The P1 key will disable the noise and tone squelch system. The P2, but the P2 button will recall your home channel, and that's uh, one that you get to program in. So when you hit that, first we have to get it out of uh, out of scan. So one click of the up and down button, then hit the P2 button, and you're right to your home channel, and that's displayed up there on the screen. The P4 button, the P3 button, rather, um, to activate the tone or DCS search feature. And the P4 button will bring up the uh, weather radio feature. And that's one click of the P4. Wisconsin, South Central, Wisconsin, and Southeast Wisconsin. For tonight, no hazardous weather is expected at this time. And now the extended outlook for the period Monday through Sunday, a cold front sagging Up and down. PM, May 15, 2016. Scan. Today's high temperature. Central Wisconsin. Monday, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 40s. And Highs around 70. Here. Another quick uh, press of that and we're out of it. We're on our home channeled. One press to get the regular and one press to get it into memory. Up or down on the buttons to start scanning. Winnebago County Amateur Radio Emergency Services Weekly 2 Meter Nut. Found the Winnebago County Amateur Radio Emergency Services Weekly 2 Meter Nut. Your not control station tonight is Kilo Charlie 9 Charlie Tango Kilo. My name is Ben and my location is Oshkosh. Net control. Kilo Charlie 9, Uniform Bravo X ray, Steve and Oshkosh, no traffic.
N9QLP. Uh, KD9 CAW in and out, N9 SCA, and KC9 UBX. Uh, break for reset here, and I'll do announcement. And now before the digital net starts, you can see we're, we're on F there, indicating that we're uh, currently ready to transmit analog. And once the digital net starts, that's going to switch over to a D. This is KT9 for the digital net. Any station check in, please come up. Net control. Charlie 9, Sierra Delta Kilo. Uh, just the other side of Wakan, just wanted to let you guys know I'm still able to uh, hear you for the most part. Net control. Net control, Kilo Charlie 9, Uniform Bravo X ray, Stephen Oshkosh. Yeah. 